addicted to Todd. What's wrong with my baby? What's wrong with my baby? That's what we're trying to figure out, Blair. Dada. Serious, isn't it? I can't make a diagnosis without running the proper tests, Mrs. Manning. What kind of answer is that? It's an honest answer, Blair. I think the doctor is telling you that if you want to help Star right now, give her back. All I know is that she was fine before she, she was out of my arms. Blair, really, there's no need for all of this. Don't you tell me about needs, Todd. If Star had gotten what she needs, she wouldn't be here right now. Give the baby to the doctor. What? Oh, God, what did you do to her? What did you do to my little girl, Todd? What did you do to her? <laughs> Star needs a mother to do what's right. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know, I know. Oh. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Thank you. No. I think it would help. Okay. It's okay. all for this. Yeah, it's Buchanan. Uh, be advised, I'm at the uh, emergency room at the Lambview Hospital, and I'm with Todd Manning and his daughter, so um, all parties are present and accounted for right now. Uh, yeah, I know. Right. Thank you. Thanks for your help, Bo. Oh, for what? Police escort and a shoulder to cry on? How's she holding up? Uh, she's half mad with fear. If there's any bad news from the doctor, then he'll take care of the other half. She doesn't do well sitting on her hands. Yeah. You got a lot on your hands right now, too, don't you? Truly. I always dreamed of having a beautiful woman be the mother to my child. Never dreamt of that being two different women. Hmm. Truly a wondrous, sad world I'm letting my son into. What, your son? Yeah. Did Hey, congratulations. Cheers, thanks. I've already seen the sonogram. A little small for a rugby player, but we'll work on that when he's born. God, that's great. You know what? There's a lot of guys that would have cut and run, Patrick. Huh? Well, I've thought of that a few times myself. Oh. Talking about time. Yeah. When I met him in Ireland, I thought he was pursued by demons. But I think he may be a demon himself. I don't know. I think he's probably trying to sort all this out, too. I think I'll let him know that he's off the hook uh, about this catastrophe. Excuse me. God, how's it going? Terrific. Just, just terrific. So what brings you here, Bo? We're more to the point. Who brought you here, Bo? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. See, I got a call. Came over to Dorian's or something about the report. About a kidnapping. He didn't do it, Bo. Look, I know that you didn't kidnap Star, so... I'm not going to press any charges. Thank you, Blair. But don't take a bow yet, Todd. Why didn't you let me know the minute Star got sick? Huh? How long were you planning on keeping me in the dark here? Star was sick. I had more important things on my mind than trying to get in touch with you. Really? Like what? I'd like finding a doctor. A doctor? Marty Sabrook? That's what you... That's your idea of a doctor? Hey, I did the right thing. My daughter was in danger. The only time Star has ever been in danger, Todd, is when she's with you. Wait a minute. It doesn't have to be anybody's fault when a child is sick. Todd, why didn't you sit down? All right. Well, that's about enough out of you. Right, because Blair and I are trying to have a conversation. Hey, let me tell you. No, 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 no. Here. Knock it off, both of you. None of this is going to help that little girl that's in there right now. So let's just relax and wait for some word from the doctor. All right. Thank you. Todd? I gotta go right now. Try to remember why you're all here. Come on, let's go down the hall for a drink of water. And some peace. Why do you... What's the problem now? Dr. 
Dr. Sands is still examining her. We've taken some um, samples here. We've got to run some tests. I've got to get... This is how you people handle an emergency? Wait, 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 Marty. I'm... What, Todd? Just tell me something. Star isn't sick because of anything I did, right? You know, I'm sure that you didn't do anything wrong, Todd. I've got to get this. Wait. And I want... Todd, listen, I, I'm sure that Star isn't sick because of anything you did. Uh, oh, I think the jury is still out on that, Marty. Todd, don't look to Marty for absolution. Okay, if you hadn't decided to go out, take Star and play Father Knows Best, all right, she would have been home and she would have been healthy. Dorian, as a doctor, I'm sure you understand. Yes, as a doctor, I would have seen that something was wrong with her. All right, we would have done something about it right away. She wouldn't have ended up here. I mean, the poor little thing, she's in a hospital, she doesn't know what's going on, she must be frightened. Now, what... Well, honey, sweetheart, I apologize. I, 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 I would have been here sooner, but I thought Kelly would like to know. It's very thoughtful of you, Dorian. Well, it's the least I could do, after all. I allowed us to be talked into letting Todd take Star out all by himself. We all should have known that something like this would happen. Oh, Dr. Sanders, is, is everything all right? Did you find out what, what's wrong with her? I mean... Some of Star's tests have come back. Her chest x-rays reveal pneumonia. Oh, God. Honey, don't get upset. Pneumonia can be treated. Well, that's true. If it's, if it, if it's treatable, then why don't you go get her some medicine? I'm afraid it's not quite that simple, Mr. Manning. What do you mean it's not that simple? My Aunt Dory just said it's treatable. Your aunt's quite correct, but uh, Star isn't responding quite as well as we hoped. What? Then... It could be something else, possibly, or we could just need to change the medication, but without further testing. Hey, look, why don't you just spit it out? You don't really know what's wrong with her, do no, you? No, Dr. Sands is doing everything she can here. Yeah, well, it's not enough. I don't want some quack poking around with my daughter. Mr. Manning, the diagnosis is a carefully thought through process. We have to evaluate... Look, I don't have time for this, all right? I gotta get my daughter to some Philadelphia or to New York or someplace where there's a hospital where people know what they're doing. Todd, wait! Todd, don't be there. You get out of my out of my way. Somebody's going to get hurt. Bad. Todd, please. Dr. Sabre, call security. That won't be necessary. Todd's going to stop doing this. No, right what now. I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get my daughter. No, you're not. Because you know that it's not about making you feel better. It's about helping your daughter. Listen, Todd. Your daughter's in the best of care. Dr. Sands is the head of pediatrics. There isn't a doctor in the world that would proceed any differently. You go in there, and you make my daughter better. That's what we're here for, Mr. Van. I don't know. I think that Todd should be banned from the hospital before Mr. Hyde kicks in again. Why well, everybody just leave Todd alone? Fine, then. Now that we're all behaving appropriately for a sick child, you can go in and see her. But given the peculiar dynamics between the parents, I'd ask that you each go in alone. You go first. Excuse me, Dr. Sands. I'm a physician, and I wonder if we couldn't discuss the case in your office privately. Thank you. Now well, you get to be the hero again, huh, Patrick? Tell me something. What would you have done different if you were out here and your kid was in there in danger? And you were out here going out of your mind because there wasn't a damn thing you could do about it. I don't know. And I hope I never do. That is... 